it's not the regular season, but the preseason opener should have every Bengals fan's interest peaked. Carson Palmer gets his first start in orange and black, and Chris Perry also making his debut less than a week after getting into camp. Palmer didn't get too much help from his teammates in his first start. Opening series, TJ Hushmanzada lets a third and eight pass slip through his hands. Rondé Barber collects the interception. That would lead to a Tampa field goal. Carson would get on track though, third and 18. Finds Chad Johnson here for 22 yards. Palmer, three for eight, 74 yards. He's played 17 snaps, puts three points on the board. Chris Perry, a less than fantastic debut. His first pro carry in the second quarter, got a yard before Jeff Terry gets his hand in there and pokes it free. That's a fumble. Perry, 22 yards on five carries. That would lead to a Bucks touchdown from Ernest Graham, two yards, 13 to three. It was a half TJ would like to forget to. Late first, John Kitna finds him all alone in the end zone for a 14 yard score, but wait. Hushmanzada loses his place on the field, one foot out of bounds. Shane Graham would kick a field goal for a 13-six ha halftime deficit. And then more Graham and Tampa takes the win 20 to six. Not much time for the Bengals to get ready for Saturday night's preseason home opener against New England. Marvin Lewis and company won't even hit Georgetown's practice field again until Wednesday night. With all the training camp time that's been lost, it's hard to believe the Bengals' most inexperienced players say they're feeling rather comfortable. I felt all right. I felt pretty comfortable. I, I definitely felt a little rusty just because, you know, it's been a while since I played in the game. But, um, you know, we, we, uh, of course, we expect to go out and score on every drive, and we didn't. So we, we still have a lot of room to improve and, and a lot of time to, to get to where we need to get. It was a little uh, nerve-wracking at first because, you know, I haven't had a scrimmage or anything to, to help me uh, to, uh, get acclimated to the speed of the game. To just jump from practice to a game is uh, a little nerve-wracking, but other than that. Al Richardson out for at least several weeks with a torn bicep. Delph O'Neal down with a sprained ankle. Troops are wearing thin and more cuts to boot. Wide out Jay Chapman let go today. One guy who proved himself in NFL Europe didn't prove himself in Camp Marvin. Skip Hicks gets his pink slip today. The five-year vet, Europe's second leading rusher this offseason. The Bengals' all-time leading rusher going to be in an opponent's jersey on Saturday. He's going to be pumped up, but we're going to, we're going to be just as pumped up. And, uh, you know, he's going to be you know, you know, playing his best, and, and we hope to give him our best. Uh, it's going to be a good challenge for us because we know we're going to get, you know, his best. And he's, you know, I think he's still one of the, one of the better running backs.